An unforgettable song, right? But there's another version of the song that many are talking about in the wake of Prince's death. That was sung by Quindon Tarver as part of the 1996 movie, Romeo and Juliet. We've reached Quindon in Plano, Texas. Quindon, how much of an impact did Prince have on you and your career? Prince had, uh, Prince had a major impact on my career, excuse me. He was, he was very creative. He was very, very go get it type attitude. He was not afraid to be himself. He was not afraid to create things and make it his own. And that really became a huge asset to me in my career. You're a musician. What do you think Prince's legacy will be when you think about him as an artist? Well, to me as an artist, I would take with me all the great things that he did with achieving his success by just being genuinely him, not being a robot, not being a puppet, but being the creative individual that I feel he was put on this earth to be, to draw people, to help people, to break barriers, to bring people together through music. I mean, music, it's a universal language, and it's something that I think he succeeded very well in. He really had no limits. When did you first discover Prince's music, though? I first discovered Prince's music, I would probably say I was the age of eight or nine, and that was a song called Diamonds and Pearl. Oh, yeah. I really love that song. To me, that was an awesome song. And what did Very you like awesome about song. it? I liked when it was talking about love. I'm a big, huge fan of love. I'm a sucker for love, so... <laughs> The concept of the song really was ex expressing love uh, amongst two individuals. And I really enjoyed the concept of that. I really enjoyed how he made it talk about love, but in a way that you had to figure out, you know, what he was talking about. Speaking of love, Romeo and Juliet, many people are playing your version of When Doves Cry. How did you get that amazing opportunity back in the 90s? Um, it was back in the 90s, actually, and um, through a relationship with uh, someone else that I had known, I was able to go ahead and audition for the part. And by auditioning, I received the part as the choir boy, which led me to be also uh, used as a singer on soundtrack one and on soundtrack two. How old were you? At the age, I was 12 when I sang the song, but when everything was released, I was 13 years old. <laughs> Do people still talk about that performance to you? Do you get stopped? And what do people tell you? Oh, my God. Yes, they do. <laughs> and they're like, oh, my God. Are you really the Quentin Tarver from Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> Your song really touched me. Your song changed my life. You, never, you didn't know what I was going through during that time. And when they tell me things of that such, it really touches me and it, and it inspires me because you never know. That movie came out when I was 13, and here it is almost 20 years later, and I'm still receiving the love just from my voice and the message that it displayed and that it, that it sent out to people. It's very uplifting, it's very humbling, and it's very encouraging. Yeah, and it's getting circulated online. Once again, people tweeting out, giving you huge kudos like this one, you know, rocking that track. You gave that song justice, here it is. You know, sad day about Prince, but you know, you did this song justice, according to a lot of fans. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it to you all and to all of my fans and supporters. Thank you. I have one request, though. A lot of people are singing their favorite songs as a tribute to Prince, to the music legend. Can you do a little bit of One Dove's Cry for us? Sure. I would love to do that. All right. Prince, you all, and for you all. How can you leave me standing alone in a world that is so cold? Maybe I'm just too demanding. Maybe I'm just like my father too bold. 
Maybe I'm just like my mother. She's never satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like. When does cry? Yes, they cry. Wow. Oh, they cry. Wow. Chills. Thanks so much, Quinn, and that was amazing. Thank you so much. Take care. You do the same. Thanks for having me. Yes, thank you.